God damn, yo, we treating dicks the way Loon treated academics, man. Come on, Chose, man. Man. right? Give him a break. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Free my man, act. Can we free act, bro? God damn. Oh my god, man. Uh, salute to act though. <laughs> Shout out act. I'm gonna do act's podcast, man. <laughs> yes, oh, oh, you are. Why did? Why it took you so long to do it? Man? You never asked me. Come on, bro. No. He didn't. Sure, bro. Yo, can you I just say asked. something? <laughs> Hold on. He went on live, ranted, said that he asked you many a, times. Well, Hold that's on. not true. Act, it, it, act. I just want to say this. I've been doing flagrant for how long? Uh, seven, six, seven years. Six or seven years. Yeah. It took me six or seven years. Act. To do what? To get Charlemagne on a motherfucking podcast. <laughs> by the way, you know what Schultz, I'm saying? Schultz, your little, hey, your little two way, year shit is light, bro. By the way, <laughs> Schultz definitely asked me way more than that. Act might act might have asked me one time, like when it first launched, and I was like, yeah, cool, let's do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it, it's gotta be some follow-up. And I I told him two weeks ago, reach out to this person, let's make it happen. I ain't heard back. Boom. I ain't heard back yet. Boom. You know what I'm saying? So there you go. I'm definitely down to do act podcast. I also just don't like to do podcasts unless I'm like... If you're not an old white lady, he's not coming to your podcast, bro. If Judy Boone goes, come down to Miami, Charlamagne be on the first come private on, jet I'm down there, there, baby. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. Trials and tribulations I'm of there. white teenagers. But that's the best. <laughs> but anybody knows me knows that's my that was my dream interview to go have a conversation with Judy Bloom. Word. I've been saying that for years. You know what Word. I mean? So that's that was a, a bucket list moment. But Damn, I'm definitely down to do act podcast. I actually look forward to it. Did you see that? I want to drink with act. Woo! Oh. You got some Henny? Yeah, no, I don't drink Henny. I'm gonna oh. drink some tequila. But I want to drink with act. I want I want me and act to have the same conversations we have in private that we have publicly. That is the one thing I saw on the internet. That is the one narrative I really despise. I hate how people try to make an issue between me and academics. You know what I mean? Like mm. I think that's very, 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 very whack. And I don't want I can't even believe Act would even feed into that in mm. any way, shape, or form. Because you like Act. He should, of course I do. Yes. But the thing is, I think a lot of times with uh, media personalities, and this has always been my pet peeve, just, just me speaking from my OG perspective, I do not like when you're having an interview with somebody, right? Somebody's a guest on your platform. If that person has an opinion about something or somebody, you cannot hold me accountable for it for their mm. opinion no ah. that's the same thing that, that, that's, that was the situation with me and Angela E right like, what happened with that well, with the Gucci man thing right oh yeah Gu Gucci had an opinion about Ye and Envy you know what I mean I'm just interviewing Gucci I didn't bring it up I didn't ask him about it you know what I mean right. you can't hold me accountable for that even if we do have a relationship that's not right because there's been plenty of times people have gone on platforms, said things about me. I've never looked at the person who hosts that platform and said, yo, that's fucked up. Like, why? Mm. That's that person's opinion. If somebody comes to your platform and they have an opinion about you, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I have an opinion about somebody or something. You as the host should not be held liable for that. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and we, we all, as media personalities, I keep telling y'all this over and over, if you can't take it, don't. This shit. It's really that simple because the same way we have opinions about everybody, people are going to have opinions about you. Mm. Bottom line, point blank, period. And everything, trust me, most of those opinions you're not going to want to hear. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you can't just always feed into it and give it give it that kind of uh, energy. And just, um, just to give his point of view from what I saw, y'all probably going to talk about that when you go on his pod, but I saw him complaining that you didn't give any pushback to what Loon was I saying. thought I was. I, I I thought I was. I, I wasn't giving it, but it wasn't directed at me either. He was talking to Andrew. Why? Yeah. Why was he true. talking to me? What did I have to do? <laughs> I was just an innocent boy. I think the conversation was rooted in you saying he could do stand up. That's what. That's what I think. That. No. Oh, no, no. Or, or, or him. Or him being talented or something like that. Yeah. Which I've always. I think act is highly entertaining. Yeah. I think it was like the value. Like it's just value. weird. I, like, but was, once again, it was odd. These yeah. are conversations that happen when. People feed into the internet too much, but that's also another one. Act, like, no, I've yeah. called Act personally, yeah, and gave and told Act, yo, keep doing what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I've also given him, you know, critique when I thought he needed critique, right? Like yeah. it's, it's always been that 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 kind of relationship. I told Act, I said, lose my fucking number, because <laughs> I lost my invitation to the white party because I was defending him, bro. What white party? 
This guy's stupid. What? <laughs> the grind don't stop, so I can't quit. One thing I do want to do is say we crossed a thousand subscribers. And while I don't, I don't want to have any type of big celebration video. It's only a thousand fucking subscribers. I see myself getting a million times that. How about that? And at the end of the day, we're going to keep grinding towards that. I just wanted to take a shot. If you're a subscriber of mine, if you really like my commentary and the clips that I give, then if you have any liquor around, you pull it out. Let's all take a shot together. Shout out to you being the first 1,000 to subscribe to my channel. More videos to come, of course. Here's to a million more. All right. Let's get into the pod war. So Charlemagne was on his podcast, The Brilliant Idiots with Andrew Schultz. And honestly, here's my overview of The Brilliant Idiots podcast. I don't like the fact that nine times out of 10, they're talking about dicks. Like even without the subject matter being about dicks, they find a way to bring it up and they just all laugh about it and you know, cool about it. Like it's just okay. But if you ask me, I don't wanna be having a conversation with another male about dicks the jokes aren't that funny <laughs> they're not and when i had to listen to it for the first 30 maybe 35 minutes of every one of their podcasts then that's when i just kind of go all right enough's enough and i really haven't been listening to the brilliant idiots that much because yeah you know, sure when when charlamagne gets into his sex talk bag he, he he goes way 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 over to the sus gay side more often than the straight side that that's just all i have to say on that like i don't know what's going on at the end of the day it's not my place to judge so i just you know you hear it a lot and you, you, at that point you're like it's like it's consistently every podcast gay jokes charlamagne Main is just throwing out and it's like pause. I'm trying to focus on whatever I'm doing while listening to this podcast. I want some jokes, but not those type of jokes. Anyways, he took this time out on his latest podcast to respond to DJ Academics and I let us all hear the response. Now, I'm sure if you heard podcasts, you already heard response, but to those who didn't, I wonder what you guys think of what, I wonder what you guys think about what Charlamagne had to say because in my honest, in my honest opinion, he copped a lot lot of fucking please like a lot of fucking please because number one he tried to say that he does he thinks it's whack when somebody else gets somebody on their platform to talk about another person which i think those were shades and shots at joe button like a little bit of shady shot towards joe i don't know if it was shady and shoddy enough to put it in a title for clickbait but we'll see anyways he continues to go on to say that what Big Loon was saying were his thoughts and he shouldn't be blamed for what somebody else's opinion is about another person. He said he wouldn't blame anybody else for giving their opinion on somebody else's platform. He wouldn't blame the platform or that person. He would blame the person giving the opinion. And in academics defense and from what I heard when I heard that whole argument between Schultz, Charlemagne, Big Loon and the other guy that's there. Charlemagne, you were really co -signed him the whole time like you were like yeah i feel what you're saying and you were you were really getting on his side a lot and i'm like why are you copping please now why are you capping you saying you're gonna be on x pod now you just saw gillian wallow they they answered the call since act had to rant like it takes act ranting like you know i'm not saying y'all supposed to be cool or y'all supposed to be friends but at the same time you're supposed to have some type of business type friendship right and if academics is coming on y'all platforms giving y'all content because he is king of coe <laughs> that last post on his instagram well a few posts ago of the island boys kissing each other i am not clipping that but that tells you that academics is king of content over everything because he will post some shit like that but anyways he's giving you the content why can't you return the favor y'all return the favor for everybody else why can't you return the favor and it does seem like well it might have something to do with the fact that he's still cool with joe but and gillian wallow and charlamagne they're on their side and they're like act you know what it's time for you to choose a side if you want to be on his side then be on his side but when we get people to take shots at you that we wouldn't take because we're trying to keep the business relationship cop aesthetic 
like, Charlemagne, I see what you're fucking doing, bro. <laughs> you're not slick. And at the end of the day, you could try and, oh, I didn't, I wasn't co-signing what big, yes, you were. You were co-signing it. And then you went on his podcast to do more co-signing of it and letting him spew and say whatever he was saying, like they were uh, good opinions. And you were like, you know, you know, <laughs> like, no. At the end of the day, you never provided any pushback. Only by, the only person that was providing pushback in those moments was Schultz and the other guy that's behind the camera. I don't know his name. <laughs> He's not important enough to find out. Anyways, are you looking forward to Charlemagne's and Academic's next interview? Can't wait to see what it is. I mean, if it's as fluff PC as the Gillian Wallow one was because he only waited till the end to bring up Joe and the whole time they were really talking about nothing. I mean, I'm completely honest with you. Gillian Wallow are not good content creators to me. I'm sorry. Like, like they live off of doing whatever interviews they're doing. I guess giving their money talk segments and showing y'all how to scam and get what y'all want. I, I get it. I get it. And making money off of the realtor that bought an ad spot on their podcast. I understand. Totally get it. But I it's just, I don't vibe with it. I don't click with it. At the end of the day, I mean, look, you can say I'm a Joe Bun plant all you want to. If I was a Joe Bun plant, I wouldn't have plants behind me. Anyways, what are your thoughts on what Charlemagne had to say in response to BJ Academics really calling him out for not coming on his podcast and letting Big Loom spew some hate towards him on his podcast? What do you have to say about all of this? Put them in the comments below. I am Savvy Mike. This is I am Savvy Mike TV. Thank you for a thousand subscribers. Peace.